Hi, and welcome to the Learning Zone. This is Mr. B. In this video, I will explain how to calculate the mass or the molar mass of a gas using the ideal gas law. Let's begin the lesson by examining the ideal gas law equation, where according to the ideal gas law, PV is equal to nRT where P represents the pressure of a gas in atmospheres. V represents the volume of a gas in liters. N represents the amount of a gas in moles. R represents the universal gas constant, 0.0821 atmospheres times liters divided by moles times K and T represents the Kelvin temperature. By manipulating the ideal gas law, it is possible to determine either the mass or the molar mass of a gas. According to the mole calculation, moles of a substance is equal to the given mass divided by the gram formula mass, or the molar mass. Inserting the mole calculation into the ideal gas law equation where P times V is equal to N times R times T will generate the following, where P times V will equal to the mass divided by the molar mass of a gas times R times T. Dividing through by RT will yield the following relationship, where P times V divided by R times T will equal the mass of the gas divided by its molar mass. And to solve for the mass of a gas, we multiply. Multiplying through by molar mass will yield the following, where now, molar mass times pressure times volume divided by R times T will equal the mass of the gas. To solve for the molar mass of a gas, consider the following, where P times V is equal to mass divided by the molar mass times R times T. Dividing through by RT will yield the following. P times V divided by R times T will equal to the mass of the gas divided by its molar mass. Now we cross multiply. Molar mass times P times V is equal to mass times R times T. And to solve for the molar mass of the gas, we divide by P times V. The molar mass of the gas will equal mass times R times T divided by P times V. Now let's apply the ideal gas law to an actual practice problem. Consider the following. Determine the molar mass of a gas if 3.54 grams will occupy 1.74 liters at 25 degrees Celsius and 1.56 atmospheres of pressure. Let's begin by writing down what's actually given in the practice problem where the volume is given as 1.74 liters. The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. However, as you know already, when performing gas law calculations, Celsius temperatures may not be used. To convert 25 degrees Celsius to Kelvin temperature, we simply add 273. 25 plus 273 will equal 298 K. The pressure is given as 1.56 atmospheres and the mass of the gas will be 3.54 grams. To determine the molar mass of this particular gas, we use the modified formula or equation where molar mass is equal to the mass times R times T divided by P times V. Inserting the data, molar mass will equal 
3.54 grams times 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters divided by moles times K times 298K divided by 1.56 atmospheres times 1.74 liters. In this particular case, the atmospheres, the liters, and the K will cancel, which leaves us with units of grams and moles. And the final answer will be that the molar mass of this particular gas will be 31.9 grams per mole. Let's end the lesson with a mass calculation. Consider the following. What mass of chlorine gas, Cl2, in grams is contained in a 10.0 liter tank at 27 degrees Celsius and 3.50 atmospheres of pressure. Obviously the first step in solving this practice problem is to convert the Celsius temperature to Kelvin by adding 273. This will give a Kelvin temperature of 300 K. Using the modified version of the ideal gas law where the mass is equal to the molar mass times the pressure times the volume divided by R times the Kelvin temperature, we now simply insert the data where the mass will equal 70 grams per mole times 3.50 atmospheres times 10.0 liters divided by 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters divided by moles times K times 300 K. After canceling the moles, the atmospheres, the liters, and the K, the mass will be 99.5 grams of CL2. important to remember that when using the ideal gas law in any capacity, the units of the variables must be consistent with the units of R. This means that the pressure must be in atmospheres, the volume must be in liters, and the temperature must be in Kelvin. This concludes my explanation of how to determine the mass and the molar mass of a gas using the ideal gas law. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.